Hello guys and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at 10 free add-ons that I think you should know about. Some of them are brand new. Others have been there for a while but the majority skip it. So let's see what we have on this list. At number 1, we have the Differential Growth Add-on, a generative algorithm inspired by the growth process in life organisms. This tool available on GitHub for free, and you can visit the page to see it and read all about the settings. Once there, you can as usual, get the zip file and run it in Blender normally. It's also explained how to set it up here if you're new in Blender, and the limit of this is your imagination, so have fun with it. Second in line, we have the KH add-on, this one can help you do many things easily with one click, which includes importing SketchUp files, fixing them, adding wet surfaces, and easy fog volumetric, along with UV wrapping and beveling edges, this tool might help beginners or anyone switching to Blender to do normal tasks much easier. This is the same author who gave us the cloud system, and we did share it a couple of videos back. So check it out if you're interested. Do you have a thing for sounds visualization? Then you must check sound nodes. This add-on allows you to extract audio information from music files and use it to drive your animations. Available on the market, and although the full version is paid for a couple of bucks, you can still get a free tryout version. At number 4 we have a basic one, Blend That, an add-on to mix surfaces together. I came across it a week ago, and it looks nice. Credits to the author for sure and you can get it on ArtStation for free. So give it a try if you want. It might come in handy. Are you interested in turning everything to Minecraft blocks? If that's the case, then you have to try Block Blender, a geometry node set with free block assets to turn your scene into block art. You can see all about it on the author's page on Gumroad. There is also a full explanation on his channel, so you can see the full process. Coming at number 6 we have Deep Bump, a machine learning driven tool to generate normal height maps from single pictures. The file for the add-on is free on GitHub, so you can get it now. The process after that is super easy, and as shown from a single image, you can generate depth to your texture with both the height and normal maps. So don't skip on this tool, it is a must have in your blender. At number 7 we have the PBR materials using AI. This tool works as a bridge between the Dream Textures add-on and Deep Bump. And that allows you to generate PBR materials using AI at the spot. Now not gonna lie, the installation for this one is a bit confusing for some, so check the author channel for the steps or read about it on the page cause you need to have both Dream Textures and Deep Bumps. This tool is a bit similar to the Materialize app. But this one is all inside Blender. The links needed are down in the description box, so check it out. If you're a fan of destruction, and you're too hasty to look for tools that help you do that, 
then you're probably skipping one of the main tools in Blender, the Cell Fracture Add-on, an easy interface panel that helps you fracture meshes and do destruction animations with no time. This one is shipped in Blender so you just need to enable it from the settings. Explaining the main interface for this can take time but you can go through it if you have the least knowledge in Blender. It's well explained from the names of each option, so tell me down below if you need a separate video to explain this one. At number 9 we have the Action Recorder add-on, a tool to simplify complex repetitive tasks in your work process, and you can get it from GitHub for free. This one has gone though many updates, however, it's been out of date for some time, so you might have a problem running it on the latest version. I did try it on the 3.3 version and it works fine, so just to keep this in mind. A fine tool for us architects if you ask me, since quite a portion of our work is repetitive. Finally, we have the rigged camera add-on. This one is also shipped with the program, and can help you expand the camera options in your blender, adding to it some cool rig dolly camera which can produce nice images for beginners. And we did make a full tutorial on this, so check it out if needed. That's it guys, like the video if you're still here and leave me your thoughts and comments down below, and as always, stay sharp, goodbye.